In this tutorial, you'll learn how to dynamically add items to your list to you. Right now, we have to make some changes to the UI of our app from the previous tutorials so that user can enter text. If you're just here for the part where we add items to the list view, you can check the video's description for the timestamp to jump ahead to. But now the first thing we're going to do is inside of our activity main.xml, we're going to make some modifications to our relative layout that we have here. The first thing I'm going to do is provide it a background color, and I'm going to say F1, FEFF. -F. So that's going to be a light blue. And inside of our relative layout, we're going to have an edit text so that users can enter some information, the item that they want to add. I'm going to add some more attributes for this edit text. And lastly, I'm going to provide it with an ID of input. Once we have our edit text, as you can see in the design tab, we're going to have to add an image view to its right so the user can press on that image view so that they can actually add the item to their list. To do this, I'm going to create an image view and its width is going to be 40 SP. Its height is also going to be 40 SP. And this image view will be located to the right of our edit text. It will have an ID of add because that's its functionality, we'll add a new item. And we're going to provide some uh, layout on the left, uh, some margin on the left, about 7 SP. And we will center it vertically. Now to actually get the check icon that we want, you can see right now it's blank. We're going to right click on our jobbles folder and create a new vector asset. This is something I covered in a previous tutorial. Click on the little icon, this little box next to clip art and type in check. So over here, we're going to select this icon from the list, press OK. And we're also going to rename it to add it underscore item. And this will, will be our new vector asset. You can press next and then finish. And it will create it inside of our jobbles folder. So now you can see it says here add item.xml. And now we can set the source for our image view equal to this add item XML element. And you can see here, this is our design for the app. We have our edit text and the image view next to it. Now that we have finished this part of the layout, we can go over to our main activity.java and we're going to create some objects for the edit text. This will be called input and I'll have a, one for the image view that will be called enter because when the user clicks on that, we want to add a new item. And just like I did with the list view, I'm going to say input equals find view by id r dot id dot input. Enter equals find view by id r dot id dot enter. And I may have forgotten to provide it with an ID. No, I did. The ID is called add. So r.id.add. And now I have these three objects over here. Uh, at the bottom of my onCreate method, I'm just going to set an item click listener. And I mean, I'm going to set an on click listener on the enter image view. So I'm going to say enter dot set on click listener, new view dot on click listener. And over here, when the user presses the, the check icon because they're ready to add their item, we're going to get the text from the edit text. So say string text equals input dot get text dot to string. But, and before we actually add it into our list view, we want to check whether the text that they've entered is valid. So first we're going to check if the text is null or if the text length is zero, then we're going to make a toast saying uh, enter an item because they haven't entered anything. Otherwise, if what they've entered is actually valid in our else statement over here, we're going to uh, have to actually add the item in. I'm, I'm going to create a method to do that called add item. We haven't defined it yet, but we will soon. So I'm just going to say add item text. And this function will take in text to add and it will add it into our list view. We'll write it in just a second. The next thing I'm going to do is set the, the input edit text uh, to an empty string because the user just pressed enter and they're done adding their item. And the third thing I'm going to do is create a toast saying added and then text. Now we will write the add item method that actually adds an item to our list view. So it's going to be public static, uh, public void add item. And as its parameter, we'll take in a string called item. Now, this is the important part to actually add an item to our list view. The first thing we're going to do is add this item to our list of items. So this items is an array list and we're going to add in the item. And the second thing we're going to do once we've made this change to the list, is we're going to say list view dot set adapter and then um, adapter. And now if we run this, we'll be able to see the change that occurs in our app and we'll be able to test out this feature. So we here we have our app and this is what it looks like now. 
it says enter item here so i'm going to type in guava now when i press on this button over here you can see the added guava and it also makes a toast saying added guava i'm just going to type something else maybe i'll type uh kiwi kiwi is already in the list but that's fine when i click on this icon over here this image view it's going to add the kiwi and also makes a toast saying added kiwi Another way to add items to the list view dynamically is instead of using listview.set adapter and then passing the adapter object, we could also say adapter.set, I mean adapter.notify data set changed. And this will also make the updates to the list view so that it displays the new item that has been added. And this is how you add items to your list view dynamically. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at how to remove items when the user long presses on an item. Until then, make sure to subscribe and happy developing.